Alright, hello everybody. Welcome back to some more Five Nights at Freddy's sister location. We completed night one and night two, which I died on night two by accident. Yep, I died on night two by accident. But then I only died one time. So we're gonna continue with night three and see what we're gonna get ourselves into on this night. Alright, let's do this. Also, I did go over this. Welcome back to this another this pivotal stuff. night of your thriving new career, where you get to really ask yourself, what am I doing with my life? What would my friends say? And most importantly, will I ever see my family again? We understand the stresses of a new job, and we're here for you. To help you reach a more stable and relaxing frame of mind, we offer several musical selections to help make this elevator ride as relaxing and therapeutic as possible. We offer contemporary jazz, classical, rainforest ambiance, as well as a wide selection of other choices. Using the keypad below, please type the first few letters of the musical selection you would prefer. But yeah, I did this, I, I, I seen this stuff before because when the night started, I ended the video, so. It seems you had some trouble with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type, and I will auto-correct it for you. Thank you for selecting Casual bongos. Oh, yes. Now that your elevator experience has been customized to your needs and you're thoroughly relaxed, it's worth mentioning that due to your lackluster performance yesterday, your pay has been decreased by a substantial amount. Oh, no. Please enjoy the rest of your descent. Into the vent. Due to unforeseen malfunctions from today's shows, your nightly duties will require you to perform maintenance that you may or may not be skilled enough to perform. Oh, okay. It became necessary for technicians to attempt to disconnect Funtime Freddy's power module. However, they were unsuccessful. Allowing them to try again would be an inefficient path forward, as we would need to allow six to eight weeks for recovery and physical therapy. You will need to reach the parts and service room on the other side of Funtime Auditorium to perform the procedure yourself. Let's check on Ballora first and make sure she's on her stage. Oh, that noise though. Oh, hello. Oh. Great. It looks like everything is as it should be in Ballora Gallery. Let's check on Funtime oh, Foxy. Was... It's important to make sure she's on her stage before entering. Oh, she, was... she was dismantled there. No one's there. Great. It looks like everything is as it should be in Funtime Auditorium. There is no need to check on Baby tonight. Please refrain from entering unauthorized areas. Proceed directly to Funtime Auditorium. Oh. But then there's this way still. Can I go in this way first? Motion trigger, circus gallery vent. Right. Ooh, it's dark in here. I can go down here. Did you know that I was on stage once? It wasn't for very long. Only one day. What a wonderful day, though. Wonderful. I was in a small room with balloons and a few tables. No one sat at the tables, though. But children would run in and out. Some were afraid of me. Others enjoyed my songs. Music was always coming from somewhere else down a hall. I would always count the children. 
I'm not sure why. I was always acutely aware of how many there were in the room with me. Two, then three, then two, then three, then four, then two, then none. Hmm. They usually played together in groups of two or three. I was covered in glitter. I smelled like birthday cake. There were two, then three, then five, then four. I can do something special. Did you know that? I can make ice cream. Mm, Although I, I only did it once. Oh. There were four, then three, three then two, two, then one. Then one. Something happened when there was one. Oh, what happened? A little girl, standing by herself. Okay. I was no longer myself. Why not? And I stopped singing. Oh. My stomach opened. Ooh. And there was ice cream. Ooh. I couldn't move, at least, not until she stepped closer. There was screaming for a moment, but only for a moment. Then other children rushed in again, but they couldn't hear her over the sounds of their own excitement. I still hear her sometimes. Why did that happen? I don't know. Alright. Let's go look. a little secret dialogue. I like secret dialogue. Uh, I thought I can like actually like hold S to like crawl backwards. Motion yeah. trigger. Circus gallery vent. Okay. Okay, I can't go back there now. Alright, let's go this way. Program auditorium maintenance vent opened. Unlike Ballora. Funtime Foxy is motion activated. For this reason, it's important to keep the room dark as to not accidentally activate her. You have been provided with a flash beacon. Use it if you need to get your bearings and to ensure you don't bump into anything. Oh, no, I don't like However, this. use it as sparingly as possible. Proceed forward to reach the parts and service room. Ooh. Oh, I don't like this. I'm probably gonna die a lot. Unlike Ballora, Funtime Foxy is motion activated. For this reason, it's important to keep the room dark as to not accidentally activate her. You have been provided with a flash beacon. I don't know why I did that. That was so stupid of me. I, why did I do that? I should. Okay, I'm just gonna wait until he stops talking because I was like in such a rush. I was in such a rush. Unlike Ballora, Funtime Foxy is motion activated. For this reason, it's important to keep the room dark as to not accidentally activate her. You have been provided with a flash beacon. Use it if you need to get your bearings and to ensure you don't bump into anything. However, use it as sparingly as possible. Proceed forward to reach the parts and service room. What did I do, dude? Yeah, I'm gonna die a lot in this one. I'm gonna die a lot. Unlike Ballora, Funtime Foxy is motion activated. For this reason, it's important to keep the room dark as to not accidentally activate her. You have been provided with a flash beacon. Use it if you need to get your bearings and to ensure you don't bump into anything. However, use it as sparingly as possible. 
Proceed forward to reach the parts and service room. I did it. Parts and service. Great job reaching parts and service. It seems that Funtime Freddy is out of power, which should make your job much easier. The release switch for the chest cavity is located on the underside of the endoskeleton jaw. To reach it, we will first need to open the face plates. You will need to press the face plate release triggers in a specific order, and it's important to be as precise and as careful as possible. Locate the small button on Freddy's face, just under his right cheek, and press it. Alright, right cheek, so... This one? Great! Now locate the button under his left cheek, and press it. Great! Now carefully locate and press the button next to Freddy's right eye. His right eye. I see a button here, but I'm pressing it and nothing's happening. Oh, wait. There. Great. Now carefully locate and press the button just above Freddy's nose. Jesus Christ. Good job. The face plates should now be open. Locate and press the small button on the underside of Freddy's endoskeleton jaw. Excellent. The chest cavity should now be open. Remove the power module from the chest cavity. Great work. You oh, will man. now be required to remove the secondary power module from the Bonnie hand puppet. Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. Wait. 
Where is he, though? Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. Oh, shit. Unlike Ballora, Funtime Foxy is motion activated. For this reason, it's important to keep the room dark as to not accidentally activate her. You have been provided with a flash beacon. Use it if you need to get your bearings and to ensure you don't bump into anything. However, use it as sparingly as possible. Proceed forward to reach the parts and service room.
Dude, like, seriously, dude. That save is so stupid. Couldn't it just, like, spawn me right in that room so I didn't have to do that all over again? That save is so stupid. Unlike Ballora, right, Funtime Foxy is up? motion activated. Jesus For Christ. this reason, it's important to keep the room dark as to not accidentally activate her. You have been provided with a flash beacon. Use it if you need to get your bearings and to ensure you don't bump into anything. However, use it as sparingly as possible. Proceed forward to reach the parts and service room. Motion trigger, parts and service. Great job. Re Great. Now locate. The Great. <laughs> now carefully locate and press the button next to Freddy's right. Great. Now carefully locate. Good job. The face plates should now. Great work. You will now be required to remove the secondary power module from the Bonnie hand puppet. Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module.
press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. I was able to do. Motion trigger, parts and service. All right, Great right. job reaching parts and service. It seems that Funtime Freddy is out. Great, now locate. Great, now carefully locate and press the button next to Freddy's right eye. Good job. Great work. You will now be required to remove the secondary power module from the Bonnie hand puppet. Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power Dude, module. can this guy shut up? Dude, can I, I, can I mute him? Is there a way for me to mute him? Oh my god, why is this so hard? I'm so pissed off right now. Press the large black button can, dude, beneath Bonnie's bow tie this is to guy release is gonna the power make me module. Lose it. I, 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 can he like not talk every five seconds, please? Oh my god. Great job. You've acquired both power modules. This completes your tasks for the night. Please exit the building through Funtime Auditorium, and we'll see you back here again tomorrow. Dude, that took me forever. Ever. I might have to cut some of those parts out.
Oh. Shh, be still and quiet. You've been sleeping for quite a while. I think they noticed that you never left the building last night. The cameras were searching for you, but they couldn't find you. I have you hidden too well. I kidnapped you. Oh. Oh, that's my fart. Okay, I thought I... <laughs> oh. oh, God. Don't be afraid. I'm not going to hurt you. I am only going to keep you for a little while. Try not to wiggle, though. You're inside something that came from my old pizzeria. I don't think it was ever used. At least not the way it was meant to be used. Too dangerous. It's just big enough for one person to fit inside, but just barely. You're in the scooping room. Do you know why they call it the scooping room? Forestry? It's because, dummy, oh, this is oh, the room where they use the scooper. I thought that would be obvious. It was kind of obvious. Isn't that a fun name for something? Nope. The scooper. It sounds like something you would use for ice cream. Yeah. Or custard. Or sprinkles. It sounds like something you would want at your birthday party. To ensure that you get a heaping portion of every good thing. I wonder though, if you were a freshly opened pint of ice cream, how you would feel about something with that name. Thankfully, I don't think a freshly opened pint of ice cream feels anything at all. Uh-oh. It sounds like someone else is in the building. Shh. What's that light blinking over there? Just get her on the rollers. We can go. There's something very important that I've learned how to do over time. Do you know what that is? What is it? How to pretend. Do you ever play make-believe? No. Nope. Pretend to be one way when you are really the other? It's very important. Ballora never learns. But I do. They think there is something wrong on the inside. The only thing that matters is knowing how to pretend. Oh. Glowing. I'll open the 
the face plates for you. That way they can find you on the cameras. Now all you have to do is wait. I'd recommend that you keep the spring locks wound up. Oh. Your breathing and your heartbeat are causing them to come loose. You don't want them to get too loose. Trust me. I don't know. That eye... That glowing eye is making me uncomfortable. Oh, what are you? Faceplates for you. That way they can find you on the cameras. Now all you have to do is wait. I'd recommend that you keep the spring locks wound up. Your breathing and your heartbeat are causing them to come loose. You don't want them to get too loose. Trust me. So I have to wiggle, apparently. Oh, oh they're crawling inside me. Dude, I'm so busy. How can you do that, dude? Oh, another one. I'm actually gonna...
Try this one more time. I'll open the face plates for you. That way they can find you on the cameras. Now all you have to do is wait. I'd recommend that you keep the spring locks wound up. Your breathing and your heartbeat are causing them to come loose. You don't want them to get too loose. Trust me. Can I do anything about the ones that are crawling inside me? already oh my god all right I'm gonna end the video off here cuz that actually annoys me that annoys me dude but yeah I was gonna end off because it actually took me quite some time to just get past night one so or not night one night three so I'm gonna save night four for another video hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the next video Goodbye.